killer was a sick murderer. He dehumanized himself. Scott Roeder is a hero for killing Dr. Tiller, the baby killer. It's obvious that people need to break the law to kill these murderers. Those are some of the comments I received on my video. Pro-lifers weren't pro-George Tiller's life when it mattered, and still aren't. I'd like to thank the people who submitted them for going out of your way to prove me right. Actually, you went a step further, proving not only that you aren't pro-George Tiller's life, but that you aren't pro-life at all. George Tiller, owner of a woman's health care clinic in Wichita, Kansas, was controversial because he provided late-term abortions, ending pregnancies after the 21st week when the fetus is believed to be viable outside the womb. If we ask you anti-abortion wingnuts, Tiller was performing these abortions all willy-nilly for any reason he saw fit, slaughtering thousands of babies just for fun for any excuse he could come up with. This, of course, is utter pap. I will now read to you the abortion law of Tiller's home state of Kansas. Code section 65-6701 et sequentia. Statutory definition of illegal abortion. To perform or induce abortion when fetus is viable, that is, in attending physician's best medical judgment, fetus is capable of sustained survival outside the uterus without extraordinary medical means. Statutory definition of legal abortion. As long as fetus is not viable and mother's informed consent obtained. Abortion of viable fetus permitted if second MD certifies that abortion is necessary to preserve life of mother or fetus has severe life-threatening deformity or abnormality. That's right. According to the laws he operated under, Tiller could only perform normal abortions if the fetus was non-viable, and late-term abortions only if a second doctor agreed that the fetus was so deformed it couldn't survive or if the mother was in danger of dying. This procedure is only allowed in instances where it preserves life. It is a life-saving procedure. And Tiller was acquitted of doing anything untoward outside those regulations time and again. In other words, those who stand opposed to late-term abortion stand in favor of sentencing innocent women to death and to allowing a fetus with a deadly deformity to be brought into this world for no other reason than to allow it to suffer and die slowly instead of preventing its suffering altogether. And you call yourselves pro-life. That's an outright lie and you know it. Pro-life means you believe in allowing people to live and to do so comfortably, but you stand in support of banning life-saving, pain-alleviating medical procedures, not to mention that most of you also support things like war and the death penalty. Yeah, being in favor of something with the word death in its name really makes you sound pro-life, doesn't it? And let's not forget that the vast majority of so-called pro-lifers are devout followers of Christianity, a religion based around celebrating the death of a man as the greatest thing that ever happened, because his death makes us all so holy that we can go to paradise when we die, and all we have to do to show our holiness is to eat his flesh and drink his blood. Yeah, the human sacrifice cannibal cult wants to call themselves pro-life. But even you non-Christian or even non-religious Atheist pro-lifers are still in the wrong for the other reasons I gave. You could be anti-war. You could be anti-death penalty. You could be anti-Christian. And you'd still be evil and wrong if you were anti-late-term abortion as well. Because you look at women who need that procedure to protect their health, and you say, Sorry, honey, it's just your time to go. That's not your decision to make. 
It is hers, so long as there are means to prevent her death available to her. Pro-lifers are not pro-life, and you wear that fact on your sleeve while at the same time having the condescending audacity to pretend like it's not right there for everyone to see. People like me, the so-called pro-choice people who want women to have access to medical procedures that ensure their well-being, are the true pro-lifers, and you, our opponents, are pro-death. <laughs>